Yeah, Andy explained the, this grammar Hoshi with the mm. like while comparing to other grammars. So which was the other grammar? Other grammar. Other grammar. Thai? So exactly. And why he introduced two grammars? Two grammars. So aspiration. That's so want? Yeah, and yeah, how it's related Thai and Hoshi grammar, tell me. Okay, uh, Thai is verb, so Thai is, so when you use verb, so you connect with verb plus Thai, and so Hoshi is something, so you want to, you want something. So the present or so product or something. So you can use hoshi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hoshi is something. But he used a different word. He said... Mm. He says... Um, item? Yes, exactly, item. So item is more specific than something. And also mm -hmm. he said, okay, even if it is not item, you can use it. That he said. And what else you can use it? Uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Okay. He said nouns. No. Uh, so okay. it means mm -hmm. all nouns are not necessarily items. <laughs> yes. yes. For example, love. Uh, Love! Oh wow, that's a good example. Okay, can you use love with hoshi? Okay, it's I ga hoshi. Is it okay? Does this sentence work? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, okay, something else. Not item but noun. Oh, how about mm. April? April. April. April is noun. Shigatsu. Does it work? Yes. Shigatsu ga hoshi. Does it work? Does doesn't work. Doesn't work. That's right. And why? It doesn't work. Yes, why? Tell me. Um, you have to tell your students. Okay. Mm, mm, so, April. I want to April? I, I don't know. <laughs> I. So, it's weird. So. Okay, then, then from that perspective, mm -hmm. what, how can you define when to use Hoshi? Okay, so for example, time? Mm hmm. Does it work? Does it work? Does work. Mm. I see. Mm. Yes, all three items are nouns, but not items. Uh -huh. okay. Not items. So, uh, how? How can you? Mm -hmm. See what 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 item what nouns we can use and not what item we we cannot. <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, yeah. Try. 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 So. Well, first of all, like what's the like a deep down of hoshi? So hoshi is I want, right? I want. Yes, I want. So that's why basically you, you, you want to possess it. So yes. love you want to possess. But April, you mm -hmm. you know that you don't, you can't. <laughs> yeah. Possess. Time. Mm -hmm. Can you possess it? I don't know. Possess, possess, possess. I, I know possess, but. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> that, that's the thing. That's why Andy emphasized items first. Okay, uh -huh. items, that is, you can possess. 
スマートフォンが欲しい。Because you're gonna possess it. テレビが欲しい。新しい。車が欲しい。That's, you're gonna possess it. Then, but basic, that's the basic. So just use it with the items you can possess. Mm-hmm. But for example, somebody that sometimes the students say JLPT が欲しい。JLPT が欲しい。It's weird. I don't know. So, Because... in English, it, it does, it can, it could be. I want JLPT, it, it, it doesn't either. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> It doesn't work either. You cannot possess a JLPT. You even cannot touch. <laughs> yeah. Okay,、mm. that's the reason Andy explained this grammar. Thai. Okay. So, Thai. Oh, Thai, when, when do you use? Thai?、Hmm? When do you use? Okay. So, action. Yes. About action.、So. Mm, your, your action or so the other, other person, the other person, so、yeah, you so and me. JLP sticker for she is really wrong because this is you are wanting some action. Take JLPT. So,、mm-hmm. JLPT, okay, yes, okay, action. That's why you cannot combine u k e r u plus h o s h i Why? 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 Why you can't? Why? u k e r u plus h o s h i Why? Why can't? Oh, okay. okay. So, Bob, so h o s h i is connected with Bob. But uh, hmm? yeah,、uh, connect with Thai. Okay, so this is the same thing. 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 Okay, so this is ウケる欲しい、ウケる欲しい、ウケる is あの、あの、欲しい is connect with noun。So that's why。So if you want to use verb, you can connect with な、たい。Exactly.If you want to describe, if you want action, you're not gonna use 欲しい the grammar, that grammar today. If you want to describe you want some action, you're going to use Thai. So you just pick the verb and use Thai. And that's another grammar we are working on another time. And today's grammar, you only can say items. <laughs> that's a fundamental, like a basics items.、Mm-hmm. So, for example, what happens if you pass the JLPT? You're gonna pass this proof, right? So that you can receive after you pass in the JLPD, that you can say, Hoshi. So, you know, passing proof, ga hoshi. JLPD in the passing proof, ga hoshi. That works, right? Because it's the stuff, items you can touch, you can possess. Stako ga hoshi ってこと So, what, what do you mean? Yeah, that's、like、certificate, exactly. Certificate.、Uh-huh. Okay. Mm, certificate. Ga hoshi. Certificate is usually file or paper. <laughs> Basically,、mm, paper. Okay. Yes, you can possess. But JLPT,、mm-hmm. ukeru hoshi, doesn't work because it's action. You are wanting action. If you、mm-hmm. wanting action, you're going to use Thai. Okay, great, great,、mm. great. But yes, the something you have to be aware is some. Particular item we do use. Okay, for example, I got a she. Jikan got a she. So, I got a okane got a she. Regarding okane, okane, we can touch, right? Then I often say like tangible,、yes. tangible, tangible item. Yeah, so it's tangible easy,、item. tangible, you can touch. So, it's 
clearly mm. exists. It has shapes. And yeah, it's tan ten <laughs> okay, tangible is here. Um mm -hmm. okay. Tangible. I don't know, tangible. Tangible. Uh, <laughs> tangible. Tangible. Okay, something wrong. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So you have to you have to be able to touch. If you wanna if you wanna grab it, you know, sure, right? Alright, then, so love, time, or Andy uh, exam, uh, presents the example of Yasumi. Yasumi ga hoshi. Yasumi is the same as jikan. Yeah, Yasumi is jikan, obviously. That we use. Mm. Uh, so uh, here, like, if you think that item can be changeable, like touch, Yasumi cannot touch, Jikan cannot touch. So kind of, you mm -hmm. know, like it's not all the time, but it's some certain con concept in life you might be able mm -hmm. to use with Hoshi, but essential, like fun fundamental is more like items, item ga Hoshi. Okay, but Andy said that this is the sentence you can use for yourself. What does that mean? Yourself. Mm. Mm, yourself. I mean, uh, so, so he means the other person mm -hmm. wants something. You can say, Hoshi garu, Hoshi gate imashita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why is that? Why? Mm -hmm. Um Hoshi is Hoshi can use only yourself but uh, Hoshi uh, so if you want to describe other person aspiration, I don't know. So mm -hmm. the item mm -hmm. and you can use Hoshi ga deimashita. Okay. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, so let's check up the, the basic grammar first and listen what Andy said. Okay, here, basic grammar is here. I ga hoshi, please use ga together. Okay, nani ga hoshi desu ka? Of course, if you want to make a sentence question, you're going to use ga as well. Hai, mm yasumi -hmm. ga hoshi desu. Actually, even the tai. JLPT ga uketai, it's same. Like our aspiration, mm. like strong will, we usually mm. marked with ga. Mm -hmm. Okay, so question, nani ga hoshi? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, mm. then let's listen a uh, video, 5 minutes 59. Hmm. Came for one of friend, which sounds weird in English, but it's okay. So you may be wondering what you should say if you want to say that somebody else wants something. Like in English, we don't really have to think about this. You can just say Yuki wants something. Perfectly fine to say that somebody else wants a thing. But in Japanese, you can't just go ahead and use hoshi when you want to say say this. Somebody, or, 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 just okay. No. So, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I'm, I, 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 I came up. I remembered. And so, so, if you want to say someone, 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 somebody want else, to, some, mm, want, somebody else wants someone something. Someone else wants something. 
you don't you don't sure um so the other person's feeling somebody's feeling so that's why you can use um so the observation or so like um <laughs> sorry to mm. okay and Yes, Andy said you cannot assume other people's feeling. You know, if you're feeling assume. 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 So, okay, Yukiko san wa kitto o kane ga hoshi. So, Yukiko wants love, Yukiko wants time. We cannot assume why、mm-hmm. because we are not Yukiko. So that's、mm-hmm. why we are not gonna use Hoshi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Yuki wa okane ga Hoshi. That's we are not gonna say because we actually do not know how Yuki feels. So, we're gonna use、mm-hmm. something different like Yuki wa okane o Hoshi ga teiru. So, this is another grammar and we're gonna work on the, the another. Session, so don't worry about it. Just important thing is you're not gonna use Hoshi with other people's feeling, so you're gonna use for your own self feeling, okay? And <laughs> but of course, for example, you can say, like, you quote, we just we already learned that Yuki wa okane ga Hoshi that she said. So, Yes, we did this grammar. Also, we can say Yuki wa okane ga hoshi. Maybe, kamo shire nai. So, you know, if you can dilute to the sentence level with any other item, that's fine, right? <laughs> so, like, Like, this is one technique. Like, you can add one more t i m e grammar and you are stating, okay, this is not my assumption. This is just my guess. I'm, re- I'm presenting my guess. So, that's kind of like how you present your statement. That's the things. And, Kamo Shirena, if you don't know yet, that's the next topic. Okay, so, important things first. Items. You only can、mm-hmm. use the items. Kuruma ga hoshi, ie ga hoshi. But sometimes we use concept.、Mm-hmm. Jikan ga hoshi, yasumi ga hoshi, ai ga hoshi. Hai, mina san wa nani ga hoshi desu ka? Maybe also you can say Yuki wa o k a n e ga hoshi to omoimasu. <laughs> to desu ne, to itte ita. To omoimasu. So, no, to r i s n e yes.、Mm-hmm. はい、皆さんは今どうぞ。Okay, Japanese people maybe want to avoid, avoid saying directly. So, yeah, so especially other person, talking about other person. And so, so, you know, so that's why we tend to use. 欲しがっていると言っていましたかもしれません。So not one hundred percent. So we want to, so we, maybe we want to say not one hundred percent. So ninety percent or sixty percent. Okay. Let, okay. Let's compare to English. English, it's fine. Yuki wants money. But Japanese language always avoids uncertain s t a t e m e n t So if it's the, you cannot assure the statement, we are not gonna use it. So unless you, you really know Yuki re- represent herself, okay, o k a n e ga hoshi, 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 hoshi. We are not gonna use o k a n e ga hoshi. Because like, that's uncertain. Yuki's hoshi feeling is very close to that her like, a subjective experience. <laughs> like、uh, subjective mm-hmm. feelings,、mm-hmm. that's why we are not gonna just dis- like state that other people's feeling. That's great. 
already a little bit difficult, but yes. So point ga hoshi, really? Tangible items. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, your hoshi, okay, your feeling, your feeling. That's the point. 